Get your employer benefits. Utilize the employer benefits that your company gives you. Whether it's the 401k option, whether it's your health insurance, dental insurance, HSA, FSA. If you're wondering whether you think that this will be necessary, a 401k is given. You have a 401k and your company has a match, you 100% need to get that. But when you're thinking of, hey, do I need to get health insurance with my employer? Like, I don't go to the doctor that often. I don't really go to the dentist. I go to the dentist twice a year. Do I need dental insurance? Get the insurance with your employer. It's important. It's a great benefit to have. It just comes out of your uh, paycheck pre-tax. Um, super helpful for you. And in the long run, you're going you're gonna to pat yourself on the back for doing that because getting insurance outside of your company is a lot more expensive. And it's after-tax dollars that you could be utilizing toward other things that you want to get. I want to tell you guys a story that I had. So, um, I had gone to the dentist recently, uh, and it wasn't my usual dentist. It was actually a dentist outside of the country because I just wanted a cheaper consultation, pretty much, because I'm inquiring on getting Invisalign. And um, the dentist there was saying that... I had to, you know, get my wisdom teeth pulled and you know what I mean? I I I kind of wanted to get Invisalign to, like to straighten up to straighten up my gap right here because you know, I'm tired of walking around looking like a Michael Strahan looking ass nigga, you feel me? And uh what the person said was, "Oh, uh, like if you're going to actually do this procedure for Invisalign to get the gap uh closed, you're going to have to remove like the flangelum. It's like the thing that connects like your upper lip to the mouth. It's like a little piece up there." And you're probably going to have to do a small procedure for that. And that's a lot of money. Well, you're probably going to be a good bit of money. But the thing is, I didn't have dental insurance at the time. So um, as soon as I got back to the States, I was like, okay, I'm going to need to prioritize getting getting it, go, going to a dentist, get my um, uh, insurance covered for so that my insurance can help me with that. And my HSA and FSA will help me with uh, paying for that Invisalign itself. Because Invisalign is tough to get with uh, the insurance that I have. Um, so I'm under my mom's insurance. Uh, pretty sure we're using Aetna at the moment. Um, and so what had happened was the employer benefits window to opt into employer benefits was November to December 31st. I had from the middle of November to do it to the, to the, to the end of December. And I said, mm, I don't really go to the doctor that much. Like, I go to the dentist uh, every so often for the checkups, but mm, I'm under my mom's insurance. Like, I'm pretty covered. Like, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm good. But eventually, when I realized that I wanted to get Invisalign, and I knew that I had to do all of those things, it was about December 30th where I was like, let me op into that FSA, FSA right now so that I can, you know, uh, get money pre-tax from that to help me pay for this Invisalign because it's going to be a good, good decent bit of money So what ends up happening is I opt into the FSA I don't opt into my dental insurance because I'm covered by my mom, right? And it's cool because I start to set up the appointment. I call I call the dentist's office I said I'm trying to get it to a new dentist and I'm like, hey, like I'd like to set up an appointment uh, for, an, for a consultation for Invisalign woo -woo -woo. So what ends up happening is they're like, oh, like, what's your dental insurance or whatever? And it took me forever to find the dental information, but I had to get the stuff from my, from my mom, uh, tell them all about it. Man, this is adulting right here. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, like, real, real stuff. Like, like I'm doing this all by myself. Usually my parents used to do it for me. So we, uh, uh, I tell them my insurance, give them all my information. Uh, clerk, the clerk on the phone I'm with is like, oh, it says your uh, insurance is void. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, your insurance is void. Like, it doesn't, like, it, it's not active. So, like, you're not going to be able to use insurance for anything. And I said, all right, that's interesting. Like, I'm going to have to call Edna or whatever. But, like, what is it out of pocket? Like, how much is the cost for a consultation out of pocket? Yeah, it's going to be about $450. <laughs> I said, damn. Right on the phone. As soon as she said it, I was like, Damn. So, you know, I, I get to the bottom of the stuff. I call Aetna and try to figure out, like, what happened. Essentially, what happened was my insurance. So they say that, you know, you're, you can be covered under your, under your parents' insurance until you're 26, which is interesting. 
but my mom's insurance had an option where you you uh you're automatically opted out of it after you turn 21 or after you leave college and i was like bruh like why are you doing me like that like, I thought I was covering up my mom's insurance still, but I wasn't. And it was like, dang, bro. So I ain't got no dental insurance at all. So I try to get my company's uh, insurance or whatever. And this is probably like, what, like January 5th when, when I found this out. So I call up... Uh, I call up my peoples at my company and I'm like, yeah, hey, like, let me, like, can I get, to, can I still opt into this insurance? Like, I know I missed the date or whatever, yada, 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 yada. They said, hey, like, we're going to try for you. Like, we're going to put in a claim, this and that. But if we end up getting you the insurance, you're going to have to, like, pay, pay more money, pay more money uh, or get more money taken out of your paycheck because uh, it was due at a certain point, yada, yada. It was just some, some, some BS where I basically just had to pay the price for it, which sucked. But I was going to do it anyway. Um, and now I'm sitting here with no dental insurance from my company. And I'm thinking about getting Invisalign. I wanted to get insurance maybe from an outside provider. But now they're going to look at me and be like, hmm, like, what are we going to charge him premium for? You know, how long, how long, like, like, he's a working man that's trying to get dental, dental insurance with us. Like, how much can we charge him and how often and how, like, for how long are we going to be able to retain him before he gets the company insurance? And it sucks because I have to wait all the way until November to get the dental insurance now. And now, and I want to get Invisalign soon. I'm on this looks maxing journey, you know, like I said, I'm trying to get the teeth straightened, do, do, do my thing, yada, yada. And now I got to wait. Get the benefits. It's necessary. Don't make the mistake I made. You're probably wondering, like, mm, I'm not really sure if I should get uh, health insurance with my company. You know, I still have my parents I can fall back on. Be your own man or woman. Be your own person. Now, hopefully I can end up getting this Invisalign and stuff like that, but it's tough, but I learned my lesson there. Utilize your company's benefits ASAP if you can. That's the video for today, guys. If you found value from the information that I told you or enjoyed the story that I said, please leave a like, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of things coming for you guys. Appreciate that. Peace and love.